If you're serious about pushing your computer's performance while keeping it as cool as possible, the long-standing advice has been to opt for water cooling rather than rely on air cooling. And generally speaking, there's something to this advice. Unless you're comparing a basic all-in-one water cooler with a really beefy high-end air cooler, putting your CPU or your graphics card for that matter under liquid should yield better results. But have you ever wondered why this is the case? I mean, what's so special about plain old water? As it turns out, quite a lot. Every substance has an intrinsic property called heat capacity. And simply put, this is how much thermal energy it can absorb before it changes temperature. Turns out that water has a higher heat capacity than most other common substances. Think about it for a second. You've got a large swimming pool that's getting beat on by the sun during a scorching hot day, and yet you jump in and it's still shockingly cold, even in the late afternoon. This is because of hydrogen bonding at the molecular level. The oxygen atom in a water molecule is quite electronegative, meaning that it attracts electrons, which gives it more of a negative charge than the two attached hydrogen atoms. So this means that the more positively charged hydrogen atoms of the surrounding water molecules will stick to the oxygen atoms and prevent the molecules from moving around too much when heat is applied. And since higher temperatures are a result of more molecular motion, all of this means that water can resist temperature changes better than the metals that are commonly used in air coolers. So coming back to what this means for your PC, strapping a water block to your CPU or your GPU means that your chips will be spitting out heat into a substance that can hold much more heat than an aluminum heatsink with a fan attached to it. But that's not even the whole story. There's also the fact that there's a practical limit to how much heat sink you can strap onto a CPU socket before it becomes too large and too heavy. So another way that water coolers achieve better performance is by having very large radiators to dissipate the heat that's been absorbed by the water, further improving overall cooling capacity. Furthermore, because pumping water from the CPU to another part of the system is so fast and efficient, many water cooling systems are designed to take the warm water away where it can get easy access to fresh and cool air. Other people prefer to mount their fans in such a way that they'll blow the waste heat right out of the case, ensuring that the hot air from their CPU isn't affecting their other components. Even aside from raw performance though, water coolers do have other advantages. Because water cools more efficiently than a metal heatsink alone, water coolers are generally quieter because the attached fans don't have to work as hard to dissipate heat. And compared to a beefy tower style air cooler, they also take up less space, put less torque on your motherboard, eliminate worries about your CPU cooler conflicting with being able to install your RAM, and are generally more aesthetically pleasing if you want a clean looking build. However, despite liquid cooling's many advantages, there are some things you should be wary of before you rush out and buy a water cooler. Although springing a leak in a well-designed loop is rare, it can happen. And while some coolers are filled with distilled water or other non-conductive fluids, even these substances are liable to pick up ions from the metals inside the cooler and become conductive over time. So you'll wanna make sure that whatever brand you buy from has a reputation for covering the cost of other damaged components if the worst happens. Additionally, don't feel compelled to spend extra money on a water cooler if you aren't overclocking. Although you can still reap the benefits of better aesthetics and reduced noise, though it should be noted that very high-end air coolers actually can run quieter than water coolers because they don't require pumps, the more you know, your CPU is gonna function just fine at stock speeds with the cooler that comes in the box or worst case scenario, a modest aftermarket air cooler because long gone are the days when your typical beige box system sounds like a jet engine when it's being put through its paces. Speaking of put through its paces, does your face feel like it's been put through its paces? Well, treat yourself with Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. They've got shower products, oral care products, hair products, skin products, butt products, and obviously, Shaving products, which are sort of a subset of skin and hair products, if you think about it. Basically, if you've got a body, Dollar Shave Club's got you covered. And they're offering a chance to try their popular shave starter set for just $5. It includes the executive razor handle, a cassette of six blades, and a three ounce tube of their Dr. Carver's shave butter. 
If you join the club with one of their starter sets for just five bucks, the restock box ships at their regular price with regular size products. So get this deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash techwiki. We're gonna have that link below. So thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, and bye. Buy what? Buy a shirt, lttstore.com.